Hey guys, and welcome back. It is the end of February. February always goes really, really quickly because it is the shortest month of the year, obviously. And it's time for me to tell you about what I've been loving this month. I have a few less beauty bits than I normally do. I have a lot more skincare and body stuff, but I hope you like it anyway. I'm gonna start off with two really, really, really expensive products I've had since before Christmas. And it was a big thing for me deciding if these were worth the money or not because I got a few things from this line and I, whilst I really like them, they are at that price point where I'm kind of like, is this really worth it? Can I get something the same for like a lot less money? Anyway, I'm talking about Charlotte Tilbury. If you guys don't know who Charlotte Tilbury is, she is a world famous makeup artist. She's one of the biggest makeup artists in the fashion industry really and she brought out her own line of makeup last year like I said I reserved judgment for a while until I'd really really road tested some of the stuff and there are two products that I have used so much and I find myself I keep reaching for them ever since kind of mid-December when I got them I just kept on using them kept on using them and it gets to the point as well on YouTube where I'm like oh I don't know if I want to talk about them because they're expensive and like a lot, a lot of people wouldn't want to spend that much money on makeup but I get so many questions about what are you wearing, what are you wearing, what are you wearing and I'm like Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte Tilbury. Um, the first one is the, I think it's called Film Star Bronze and Glow, it's basically a um, contour kit, it has a sculpting powder and then a highlighter and first of all the packaging of this stuff is just incredible, it's rose gold, it's beautiful, it really is just beautiful, very vintage looking um, and these powders are wonderful, the highlighter is really really pretty because it has absolutely no like shimmery glitter, it is just a glow, it really is just a glow and the sculpting powder is one of the most natural like sculpting kind of colours and just general all round nice bronzers as well that I've used and then I also um, have been loving and using this a lot, this is one of her eyeshadow quads and unusually for me this is all matte these blend so beautifully, like better than any other eyeshadow I've got, better than the Marc Jacobs ones which are also very very expensive. If you just want an everyday palette that blends really easily and is all matte then this is just a really really lovely choice. Anyway, on to less expensive pastures, um, if you guys watched my last video you will have seen my L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Noir and how I was talking, or Noir Excess, sorry. Um, and how I was talking about my eyelashes feeling short. Um, this solved that. I freaking love this mascara. Um, I've only been using this for the last four or five days, um, but I think with mascara you can pass judgment quickly. Definitely gets a thumbs up for me. Really, really gives you a lot of volume, a lot of length. It's very, very dark. I'm wearing it today, and if you like big lashes, you will like this. So the last makeup item that I've discovered in February is from Estee Lauder, and it is there. Double Wear Stay In Place Brow Lift Duo. It's basically a brow pencil. Um, it's a retractable little brow pencil. Pencil? A pencil would be a new thing. This is a pencil. Um, and it's double ended, so you have the um, like coloured ends to fill in your brows on one side, and then you have a highlight on the other end. This is in O2, which is highlight slash rich brown, because I do have fairly dark brows in comparison to my hair colour anyway. Um, and this is really good. I love this because it stays on all day. Some brow pencils are if you use powder, they kind of tend to disappear throughout the day. But this is really, really good, very subtle, and I like it a lot, and I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for a new brow pencil. For nails, I have a nail combination, and it is the one I'm wearing at the moment. My nails at the moment are a little bit chipped because I've had this on for probably like five or six days. But this month I've been obsessed with matching nude colours, just like plain nudes, with glitter on the top. I don't know what it is. It's kind of like, it reminds me of, you know that Britney Spears video, I think it was Toxic, when she's like writhing around in a bodysuit that has glitter all over it. It reminds me of that. That flesh toned weirdness with sparkle over the top. Um, but in a good way, that sounded really bad and it's not going to entice anyone to paint their nails like this. This particular combo that I'm wearing at the moment, um, the nude is actually from the Rimmel Rita Aura collection, which isn't out yet. I got sent this as a sample, which is really cool. And I've done a full um, like review and swatches and stuff of the whole line on my blog, so I'll put a link to that in the info bubble if you want to check out um, Rita Aura's new collection for Rimmel. Anyway, this colour is a really, really good nude for my skin tone. Obviously nudes 
it's, you know, what suits your skin tone, everybody's different. Um, and then I've been putting this over the top, which is cheeky Chap Me Up nail paint um, in Disco Fever, and it's basically a mixture of kind of fine glitter particles and then bigger sequin glitter in gold, and it's kind of gold and then like a silvery iridescent holographic colour. Really like this. Together, they are like my dream nails this month. And then moving on to skincare, if you guys have watched my videos for a really long time, you'll know that I'm quite steady with my skincare. I don't like swapping it too much because my skin goes a bit crazy. Um, but over the last few months I have like been replacing things in my skincare routine that I think have been kind of letting the side down a little bit. So I do have three new skincare favourites this month. This is a big thing for me and if you guys want me to do a whole new skincare routine let me know and I can do that because it has changed quite a lot since I did my last one which was about a year ago. Anyway, so the first edition is this from Sarah Chapman which is the Skinny Sis overnight facial. I decided to try this on recommendation from my friend Amelia. She said that this is absolutely amazing. The whole line is amazing but that this is like really 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 good. Uh, it is. It is freaking amazing. It's an oil. You put it on just before bedtime instead of your nighttime moisturiser, sleep in it and you wake up with like new skin. It's like super super smooth. I liked this so much I even made Mike try it. Um, he didn't like it as much as me. He's not really into that kind of stuff, but I was impressed that he did actually try it. I told my mum about it, I told my sister she had to go and get it, um, and now I'm telling you guys, it's really good, it's really expensive, but it's amazing. If you're into high-end skincare, and you're looking for something new, a new nighttime oil or in place of a moisturiser, I can't recommend this enough, it's really, really wonderful. And then from the super expensive to the a budget skincare option, I've changed my eye cream, I've been getting like dry patches around my eyes and like actual dry skin to the point where it was flaking and stuff so I thought hang on a minute although I've been using this eye cream for two years maybe I should try and change it to get rid of this dry skin because I don't think that it was that that was causing it um, but I needed to change something to try and get rid of it so I started using this which is the Botanics Power of Plants Hydrating Eye Cream in Radiant Youth um, with Protective Ginkgo which is a little bit more natural it's a lot more gentle um, and I think it's about six pounds, something like that, um, or maybe eight pounds. And I really like this. It's nothing, it doesn't really like do anything extra special, but it fixed my dry skin around my eyes um, and it's nice and moisturizing. So it's not particularly depuffing or like feels like it's zzz, um, your eyes. Did that even make sense? No. This is just kind of a nice basic moisturizer. So if you have sensitive skin, um, or it works for my sense of skin anyway. And then I also changed my moisturiser, Shock Horror. I'd been using the Prevage Triple Defence SPF 50 for like two years, and I loved it, but it was full of chemicals, um, and in terms of long-term use on my face, I think it's better to go for something a little bit more natural. So I decided to go with the Organic Pharmacy Antioxidant Face Cream, and I had discovered their mask last month, which was in my last month's monthly favourites as well. So I went in there and I thought, you know, I really like their mask, let's try out more stuff. This, I've actually used quite a bit of it, I've been using it for about three weeks. It's really nicely scented, it smells like citrus, but in a non-toilet cleaner way. I always, I know that sounds gross, but I always avoid like citrus smelling stuff because it just reminds me of like bathroom cleaner. Um, whereas this is like a very light scent. It's almost like quite refreshing to use. It's quite a funny texture. It's kind of like a wet um, cream kind of gel type texture. It's definitely not like a rich, thick, moisturizing um, cream feel, but it is very, very smooth and it really moisturizes the skin. It leaves my skin feeling like super, super smooth and soft. Um, and I've been really liking it. One thing with this, keep it away from your eyes. It really, really stings if you get it anywhere near your eyes. Um, for hair stuff, I've got two things. One of them is a rediscovery that I've spoken about quite a lot, so I won't go on about it. Unite 7 Seconds Leave-In Conditioner. If you have knotty hair, this stuff is the bomb. It just is amazing. Um, and Unite are more available in the UK now than when... I used to talk about this probably 18 months ago, maybe even two years ago, and it was really hard to get a hold of in the UK. Now it's fairly easy. There are a lot more salons that stock it, and you can buy it online too. And it is honestly the best thing ever and I'd come away from it for a while because I was trying to use up a lot of my hair products that I had just got sitting in my cupboard um, and that kind of came into the rotation I was like man I forgot how much I love this I've also um, been loving this which is It's a 10 5 minute hair repair for blondes 
Um, I love that it's a tan leave-in conditioner as well. It's probably my second favourite next to the Unite one. Um, and this is like the intensive treatment that you use in the shower in place of a conditioner. And I've had this for a few months, I think I bought it back in October. And I hadn't really used it until um, at the end of January I think I started using it. Because I was trying to get through things and I was just, I don't know, something about it. The, the packaging is really not that appealing, is it? Um, so I bought it when I was in the States and it just kind of sat there. Um, but actually it's really, really amazing. Um, if you have quite dry hair that you've colour treated, which you probably do have quite dry hair, if it's blonde hair tends to be, if you've dyed it blonde, tends to be fairly dry because bleach is quite stripping for your hair. Anyway, it just like leaked all over my lap. Um, it's slightly purple in the way that it will have a slight toning effect on your hair to help minimise like it going brassy and stuff, but it isn't really, really intense like some of the shampoos. The one thing with this, it smells really funny. Smells like almost cologne likes, so smells kind of like a man. Um, not in a bad way, in quite a nice way, but um, just quite strange. Uh, but I really, really like the results. Very, very nourishing and moisturising for your hair. And then the final two items I've got to show you are the result of my coconut obsession. In my last monthly favourites, you guys might have noticed, I put coconut milk in there that I have um, been replacing my cow's milk with. And I'm still really liking that. And my coconut obsession has gone beyond that now to body products um, in the form of my original shorts, shorsh, my original source shower gel. Um, this is the second one I've had. This is almost new actually. Um, I've only used it a couple of times. Um, really lovely. I love original source anyway. I like the lime one and I like the mint one. Um, and I've spoken about them a few times over the years. But yeah, the coconut one is really good. And if you like coconuts, it will give you that coconut fix. And then. The last product is my body shop, Coconut Body Butter. It smells so good. This is kind of a classic product, the body shop body butter. I'm pretty sure most um, beauty and body obsessives will, body obsessives, um, will have tried this. I nearly threw it at myself. I don't know what's going on today. Um, but I had never tried the coconut one before. I love the Satsuma one and I've tried a couple of others like the olive oil one and stuff over the years and they're all really nice. But I've been really, really liking this one. I love me some coconut this month. Um, and actually, ever since I came back from my honeymoon in Thailand, where they have coconut everything, because they cook with a lot of coconut milk, and they just basically have a lot of coconut things in Thailand, um, I've been kind of addicted to it. Just like coconut everything. Coconut yogurts as well are really... I'm loving them. Anyway, enough about me and my coconuts. I will see you guys in my next video, which will be on Monday. I really hope you had a lovely week, and I hope you have a nice weekend. And I will see you very soon. Bye bye! Also, went for the foundation as well. I thought I'm just gonna try it because I really, really like the concealer. The primer's meant to be good. I thought, hey, why not get all three? And.